Hello everyone. We will continue that topic abstract class. Now, what we will do, we will create a program and in that program, we will display the sales order details or and billing document details depends upon the condition. It means we will use this that we will use these classes whatever we created and we will achieve a output so i will go to sc38 transaction code i will give some program name this is my program 4 i'll click on create button it's already exists so i'll go for program 5 I'll click on create button. I will give the title to this program. Suppose to display sales order slash billing document details. I will take the type as executable program. I will save this. I will save it as a local object. I will take one input in the program parameters. E underscore VBELN. I will pass the data element. I will take two radio buttons also. Suppose P underscore R1. Type C radio button group. Suppose R1. I will take another radio button also. And these two radio buttons belongs to the same group that is R1. I'll check the syntax. I will activate and I will give the selection text. I'll go to text element selection text. Suppose first radio button is for sales document. Second radio button is for billing document. And this is my input suppose. Now, whenever I will run the program, so this is my input. Suppose whenever user will select the sales document radio button and give some input, I will display the data from VBAK table. Whenever user will select the second radio button and pass the input, I will display the data from VBRK table. We already wrote the logic in the classes. We will simply call those classes. Suppose now we will go for another point here. We created a abstract class and we created the subclasses from the abstract class. And you see the method, whatever the method is there, it is a instance method. So whenever we have an instance method, we always have to call the method with the help of object. I will write how to declare the object. Hello underscore object type ref to my class. I am passing my abstract class. Now. If I want to create an object, how I can create an object? Create object, object name. And we will go for an important point here. Now I will check the syntax and we will get an error that we can never, never create an object of abstract class. 
when we learned the topic abstract class we put so much stress that we can never never create a object of abstract class it means we have to create the object of sub classes of abstract class we already created two sub classes we already wrote the logic in that methods and we will simply call those methods with the help of object of sub classes so rather than declaring the object of abstract class i will declare the object of sub classes of abstract class this is my first sub class which i created and this is my second sub class so i declared two objects for my two sub classes one is sales document another is billing document i'll check the syntax now i will create two objects one is object 1 and another is object 2 now whenever user will select the first radio button i will call the method of first sub class whenever user will select the second radio button i will call the method of second sub class now you all know this is our global so we can call these methods with the help of pattern button i'll go to pattern a map object patterns now firstly i will go for first object object 1 what is my first class name this is my first sub class name and what is the method method name is display okay whatever the input we are passing it will go here and i will uncomment this importing we all know whenever we are calling the methods import will convert to export and export will convert to bb type lv underscore er zet now we will simply write this four variables because if i want to print the output er dat lv underscore er num lv underscore e r z e t suppose and l v underscore e r no e l v underscore b b t and i will write here for the better understanding the sales order details so that we can understand the output in a best manner no i will declare these four variables which are printing the output er dat type er dat er num type er num er zet type er zet et vb type type vb typl i will check the syntax and my first part is done i will write this first logic should display whenever we have the first radio button is capital x we all know whenever we are selecting a radio button the value of that radio button is capital x i will write and if 
now we will write the logic for second scenario what is our second scenario if user is selecting the second radio button i will write if p underscore r2 is equal to capital x now we will simply call the method of second subclass how to call pattern a back object patterns this is my second object now and what is my second subclass this is my second subclass and this is my method display and you can see the method is same because we have the same number of parameters in the method but implementation is different different one time is sales order data another time it is billing data i will pass the input and i will uncomment these things er dat er num vb type and er zet i will print the output i'll simply copy and i will simply change the word only now this time it will be billing document details i'll check the syntax and i will activate now i will anyways show in the debugging mode how it will work if you are selecting the first radio button and you are giving a input this if condition will be true it will create the object of first subclass and it will call that particular method and print the output if we are selecting the second radio button it will create the object of second subclass and it will display the billing document details we will see in the debugging mode how it will work suppose i am passing 3 and selecting the sales document i'll go to desktop 3 most preferable desktop so first radio button is capital x my if condition will be true my object of first subclass is created object is created can i call the instance method now yes because the object is created i will go inside this method you can see based upon the input it will fetch data and you can see we are displaying the details that now we will go for billing document now this time i will refer vbrk table suppose i will check in vbrk table what the input i should give i'll go for this input suppose i will pass this input i'll go for execute and you can see this time our second radio button will be capital x it will create the object of my second subclass now if i will go inside you can see this time it is fetching data from vbrk table it is fetching data of these four columns and it is displaying these four details and you can see how important is abstract class one time i created the abstract method in the abstract class and i am going for different different implementation with the help of first subclass i displayed the sales order details with the help of second subclass 
I displayed the billing document details. So this is the real time implementation of your abstract class. Rest part will continue in the next video. Thank you.